Hello, this is Gary Schnitke with a Farm Doc Insight dealing with the difference between revenue protection, RP, and RP with harvest price exclusion. We often get interest in RP HPE when we are in a high premium cost environment. RP and RP HPE use two prices in setting guarantees and revenue to count against those guarantees. The projected price is the average of settlement prices during the month of February, CME contract, December contract for corn, and that sets the guarantee. And then we use the October price, which is the average of settlement prices during October, same December contract for corn, and that sets revenue. However, that October price not only sets revenue, but under RP can influence the guarantee. RP has a guarantee increase in it, and its guarantee increase will happen when the harvest price is above, above the projected price. On the other hand, our, our RP with a harvest price exclusion does not include that harvest price in its guarantee increase. The difference between the two can be looked at in two years. 2012, the drought year, we had a projected price of 568 and a harvest price of 750. The harvest price was well above the 750, uh, projected price of 568. RP used in its guarantee 750, which obviously is much higher than that 568 a projected price which was used in RP HPE. If the harvest price is below the projected price, like has happened in 2019, RP and RP HPE use the same price in determining the guarantee. If we look at Illinois corn, and it also would hold for soybeans, RP is the most prevalent prop policy used. 93% of the acres are used by RP. And you can see all other policies are rate really low, including RPHPE, well below 5% for each one of those, uh, those plants. So most people use RP. When, why would the harvest price be higher? And we see that the harvest price is above the projected price in about 30 to 40 percent of the years. And those years have happened periodically through the period of the last 40 years. If we look at those more closely here recently, we've seen the harvest price above the projected price in 2021, 20, 2012, and 2012 was a big year because that was a drought year. The drought year, if we look at Illinois yields, was well below what we would expect, and there were many crop insurance payments made in those years. Those payments, if we had RP, was made at that much higher per harvest price, which was 750, versus the projected price for RP HPE, which was 568. So, drought years are a big deal in determining whether to choose RP and RP HPE. So, if you believe a drought is going to happen, you would select RP. So, if you, you believe a drought is happening, you would select R, uh, RP and buy RP. If you believe there's no drought, you would buy RP HPE. Broadening, the, broadening the, that out a bit, if you believe the harvest price is going to be above the projected price, then you would buy RP. Obviously, knowing whether a drought occurs is very difficult, and in fact, a lot of objective evidence would say that you'd have no information on whether a drought is, is or is not occurring when you have to make that decision by March 15th. Similarly, you don't know whether a harvest price is going to be above the projected price roughly, but you know that it happens for roughly 40% of the time for corn. To further consider that example, let's say we have a drought. We got an example of a drought here that we simulated roughly equal the 2012 drought. We have a 220 bushel APH shield. We have a projected price of 588. 
If we have a drought during that year, uh, this year, which again, we would say is 130 bushel yield and our price goes up to 780 drought and you buy RP, you would have $345 more additional money by that RP purchase. During that drought year, you would have something like $421 of payments under RP versus 62 for RP HPE. That is a big difference during that drought year. If we don't have a drought year and we don't have a payment, then we would be looking at RP HPE having the lower premium, which in this case is $14 lower. To give you a feel, RP 85% in central Illinois will have roughly a $30 premium. RP HPE will have roughly a $16 premium. That will depend on many factors, but that gets you in the ballpark. Obviously, if we have a drought in no RP, we would lose $345. And again, no drought, we would have gained $14 using RP HPE because we did not um, did, did not have, pay that additional premium. This has been a Farm Doc Insight describing the differences between RP and RP HPE and illustrating the difference of those, pay, those policies during a drought year.